Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Scrap to Cast. Today we're gonna go ahead and scrap out a press washer. We're gonna see how much copper is inside the unit. We'll then weigh up the copper and then we're gonna melt it down in my small Devil Forge furnace. We'll cast a copper ingot and then we'll stick it on the table with the rest of the ingots from this series. If you wanna see this series from the very beginning, I will post the link in the description to that playlist. And also, before I get started with the video, I wanted to mention that if you like scrapping content, if you wanna know how much copper is inside something chances are I've already done a video on it if I haven't leave a comment down below and let me know what you're looking to have scrapped out on camera and I will go ahead and do that and put a video up on YouTube and also if you like my content maybe you should subscribe so please bear with me while I get the cart set up the camera mounted and we'll bring it back for the teardown of this pressure washer right here
All right, everyone, here's the progress so far. This is the pump. It's considered irony aluminum. I'm not gonna scrap this out any further. I'm just gonna put it in my irony aluminum bin. Uh, aluminum fan blade, all the brass, the plug, which probably will have a little bit of copper in it, but I saved the plugs, and when I got a bucket full, I'm gonna go ahead and do a video on those. Uh, a couple switches here that I'll recover the silver from. And uh, this core right here, or armature, I learned recently this is called an armature. Uh, I couldn't get all the copper out of it. There's just too much lacquer holding all the wires together. And uh, when I was trying to pull them out, it was just breaking off. So I'm going to throw the rest of this in my electric motors bin uh, because there is still copper inside this. So here's the rest of the copper we've got so far. Not a bad looking pile. And uh, here's the steel. Some of the wires I've already prepped. I usually strip the ends off of them because when I run it through the wire stripping machine, it's very easy to pull the plastic off because you already have some of the copper exposed. And then we still got the power cord right here that we got to do. And I anticipate there's going to be a decent amount of copper from this because I think it's like a 25 foot cord or pretty close to it. So anyways, we'll get the stripping machine set up and uh, we'll begin stripping down this wire. I forgot to mention, here's all the plastic junk. All right, everyone, there's all the copper. I'm curious to see how much the power cord alone weighed. So we got it in grams. Pretty much almost a pound. Uh, 417 grams, let's see what we got. 14.7 ounces, so that's great. That's actually pretty good for a power cord. And then here's the rest of the copper. So we got 23.8 ounces. That's a total of 676 grams. Pretty much one and a half pounds of number two copper. So anyways, we'll get the furnace set up and uh, we'll start melting it down. If you like my content, maybe you should subscribe.
Okay, everyone, the bar is all set. Nice and cleaned up. The top side didn't come out that great. I'll show you what I mean. It's got this porous effect to it. And it's also not uniform on the top. It looks like there was an air bubble here that started to pop when it was solidifying. So that really makes sense. And uh, there was a little bit of slag in there. And I suspect there might still be some slag inside this copper. But anyways, you can't really get all of it. You do the best that you can. Let's see what we got. We have one pound, 7.2 ounces, and let's see grams, 660 grams. So we lost about a half an ounce, which is no big deal. I mean, technically we did remove the dross and there might still be a little bit left in the crucible, like there always is. And before I conclude this video, I just wanted to mention my last video, I had weighed up all of this copper and I didn't reveal how much was here. I did not weigh this. I want it to be a surprise for me and for you viewers, but I'm happy to report from here up, we have a total of 161 pounds and four ounces of copper. And that equates to probably around $500, US dollars that is. So I just wanted to reveal that because I forgot to mention it in the last video. But this concludes scrapping a pressure washer. We found out there's about a pound and a half inside that particular model. Not to say that all pressure washers will have that amount, but it's a good starting point. And before I go, all of this copper here that you see on this table was rescued from landfill. All of these appliances here, stuff like this is what I scrapped out to get that pile right there. Copper is free. It is out there. People throw things away all the time. You just got to know what to look for. And if you think this was interesting and you want to see more copper content, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel. I have a whole playlist dedicated to how much copper is inside objects that you'll find, you know, on the side of the road and here and there. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. Happy scrapping, casting, and stacking.